Hi, and welcome to my presentation on social media usage affects a person's sleep. This is obviously by me. <clears throat> so first I'll go over a quick table of contents. I'll give an introduction to my topic and my original hypothesis, then I'll go over how I collected all of my data, then I'll go over all of my responses and results, then I'll go over any correlations that I can find within my data, then I'll go over my new hypothesis that I got after collecting all of my data and going over everything, then I'll examine any causal relationships that there might be within these two factors. Then I'll go over a quick conclusion and summarize everything that, will, that was said, and that would be your chance to ask any questions at the very end, which I'll just give to myself in the real. So first I'll start with an introduction and my original hypothesis. So I wanted to have an exploration of the effects of the social media usage on sleep. So I wanted to see if people who use more social media would have less sleep or if there would be any correlation between these factors at all. So my original hypothesis was, as the amount of social media usage increases, the amount of sleep will decrease, resulting in a moderate negative correlation. So next, how did I collect this data? So I had a convenient sample survey, which means I had a survey that I just asked anybody who was available to fill it out. So that means I asked all my classes, all my family, all my friends. And primarily, I got most of my results by going around the school and asking different teachers if they could post the survey into their respective classrooms, which means I got a lot of results from that. So what questions did I have on the survey? So my first question was, how old are you? And at different age ranges, starting from 0 to 10, then 3 year age gaps until 20 years old, and anyone who's 20 years old or above would be considered just one age for the purposes of my survey. Next I asked, how much do you think you sleep per night on average? And I asked this in hours, and I had ranges again of 0 to 3 hours up until 12 hours with 3 hour gaps between. And then anyone who's, who slept 13 hours or more in a night would be considered one range. Next I asked, how much time do you think you spend per day on social media? And this of course was in hours again, and I had the submitters go from 0 to 9 hours or more in a day. With no ranges for this question specifically. So this is the first part of my results and responses portion. So I had 162 responses total, and I had ranges for ages. Now, having ranges for all of my ages and my social media usages does add a bit of discrepancy to all of my data, because I'm not able to have a precise age or a precise uh, social media usage, which doesn't matter for the ages, because I do not proceed to use any of my ages for any uh, correlations thereafter because of the huge discrepancy that you can see here with the 68.5% of people who are 16 to 19 years old. Otherwise, nobody was 0 to 10 years old. 27.2% um, of people were 11 to 15 years old. And then 4.3% of people were 20 years old or more. This is the second portion of my results and responses part. So I again use ranges for uh, the amount that people slept in a day, and I had very large discrepancies in my data, and I had a large uh, lack of responses when it came to the higher numbers. So for example, nobody slept 0 to 3 hours in a day, and then 34.6% of people slept 4 to 6 hours in a day, and then 61.1% of people slept 7 to 9 hours in a day, then a very small portion up 10 to 12, and then one person up 13 or more hours in a day. This is the third portion of my results and responses. So very, very few people chose any of the higher social media usages. I believe three people chose eight hours of social media, and like seven people chose nine or more hours of social media usage. And this is better illustrated later when I have just the raw numbers on screen. But the top three uh, for social media usage is uh, three hours of social media usage and taking 22.2% of all responses, then four hours of social media usage taking 20.4% of all responses, and then two hours of social media usage taking 16.7% of all the responses. Now this is the fourth part of my results and responses portion. 
So I had very few responses for any of my later times. As you can see here, I only had seven responses for the nine hours of social media usage, and then I only had three for the eight, and then five for the seven. Down here, I have the total uh, average for all of my social media usages and all my sleep times, which was at 7.1, and then here I, at 6.7 was for the top half, so that's for 5 to 9 hours of social media usage. That's the average of 6.7. For my bottom half, which was 4 to 0, was uh, 7.2 hours of sleep per night on average. And then this is the number of responses for each, so I had 162 in total, and then only 37 for my top half, which again was 5 to 9, and then only 125 for my bottom half. And as you can see here, it's uh, more demonstrated even within the table itself, that as we got to the higher social media usages, on, like, on average, there would be less sleep. Now there is a huge discrepancy, as you might have noticed, with the night hour portion, where it actually had the most sleep out of everybody here at uh, 0 0.8 of like deviation higher and 7.9 total. So what correlations did I have within my data? So I had. Um, our square value of 0 0.03447, which is a very, very low R squared value. And then my R value was a negative 0 0.1, which is again very, very low. So uh, I said here, it's a very slight negative correlation. As you can see here, this is the best line that I could find for the fit, and it doesn't like move all too much within my data range. So my new hypothesis is, as the amount of time spent on social media increases, the amount of time spent sleeping will decrease, resulting in a weak negative correlation. This differs just in the severity of the negative correlation from my original hypothesis. But if I could have word to describe it being even weaker, I would use that because it's a very, very weak negative correlation. So is there any kind of causal relationship between the amount of social media that a person uses and the amount of sleep that they get on a day per on average? Well, there might be. So when you use social media, you tend to have less bodily energy usage, which means that your body's just expending a lot less energy to do whatever activities that you're doing. So for example, if you were to read a book or play a sport or something, you would use a lot more energy, which means that your body would need to recuperate that energy through sleep, which means that they, it would need to sleep a lot more. Next up is blue light. So all social media platforms use devices that emit blue light in, into your retinas, and blue light has been uh, correlated with lower sleep levels. Which means that as you use social media, so you're increasing your blue light intake, which means that you're decreasing like your ability to sleep and you're making it a lot more difficult to sleep because your body's not releasing melatonin, which is the sleep hormone. Next, the times that you spend on social media might conflict with the time that you would be sleeping otherwise. So if you're up late at night on social media, you're obviously not sleeping for that time. And if you would otherwise just go to sleep right away, then there's a causal relationship between that. Next, my conclusion. So, like I said before, there does seem to be a very slight negative correlation with all of my data that I collected, but it's not very conclusive because I had a very large lack of data, especially for those higher social media usage benchmarks. So, like I said before, the eight hours of social media usage, I only had three people who responded with that, while the nine or more hours had like seven, while the, I believe it was four hours had like 36 responses and like 33 for the three, and there was a lot more responses for the much lower social media usages. So thank you for listening to my presentation. If you have any questions, you can ask me like in person while I'm there. Um, if not, thank you so much.